Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 12 of my experimental Alpha 17. Seven days to die. Let's play. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, I was really busy during the night uh, digging away. Uh, we're so freaking hungry and thirsty. It's not even funny. Uh, been using up lots and lots of food and hunger we're desperately low on the food um do have tons of meat over here i just turned daylight um i did spend a point overnight on on the minor 69er uh because i was doing a lot of digging and i figured that would uh that would help I did so much digging. <laughs> uh, I went down like I said I was going to do um, below, below our, oh come on, below our little uh, dug out here. It doesn't look like much. Let's turn the mining helmet on. But I got almost this whole quarter section done. Uh, I. I started to cheap out and not upgrade the planks just yet because I was getting low on wood. But I did build up my stone quite a bit, uh, which was awesome. It did take like, uh, let's go check on our forge here. Didn't quite get done. I, I added two more piles of wood for 10 minutes. So it took a little bit over 50 minutes to get this stuff uh, all cooked up. So let's go ahead and finish that one off. But over here in our cement mixer, I have our first concrete mix going. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go and upgrade a few of our blocks outside. Um, I think, do I have the fence on me? Didn't I make some more or is no? Uh, I think that was the more because we had to make more to finish up. Do we have any more in here? No. But I think that should be good for what I want to do. Um, we're also going to need to go back down and get the the scrap iron. Get ourselves some scrap metal so we can make a few more of those barbed wire fences. We'll probably bring half. That should be plenty. And we can put the dirt and the sand away. I did dig out uh, quite a bit of sand over there. As much as I was able to before it got dark. I wound up having, I don't know. Um, I had to come back and eat and drink because I was dying of thirst and hunger. But I would, oh, I, I do need like a, another 300 used up like 700 on the cement that was in there but there we go uh so two for each corner two four so we need like 16 more of our little um oh that's going to be under tools uh, this barbed wire fence so 16 more of those and we have some of this wood. I don't think we'll need that. We are going to need the axe to chop that stuff down. And then we're going to need our barbed wire fence. We'll upgrade that stuff um, once we get this uh, squared away so that the Zomberts can't uh, easily bypass our, our uh, little trap here. So we're going to knock away both of these and place these on the outside like this. So that should now be on the outside block and we should be able to place, yeah, that's what we want right there. And we already have those two, um, oh God. Yeah, that took all my wood. So let's go chop a few trees so we can make a couple of, uh, replace those 
uh, iron, not the iron, the wooden spike traps that were destroyed. Yeah, this steel fire axe tears through them a lot better and that one point, uh, that one point should help us do more block damage with it to make it even better. So there's two right there that are destroyed. Let's go ahead and get those guys in there. And we need to break these. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this to where it's uh, working properly. Let's place that one right there. Awesome. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go around placing these on the, the outside, the wrong side, just so we can put, uh, block this pathway off of them. That's an easy out for them. And there's another spike trap destroyed. They're, they're going for the corners, I think, because that was where that easy pathway led them. Uh, because that block was empty, so now they might spread it out a little bit more, hopefully. So it won't be concentrated all in that one line. Um, it looks like we might need... Uh, as well to do a little yeah is that one completely fixed okay excellent <laughs> my cat Nikki is uh she's wanting breakfast we don't have we ran out of wet food for her she <laughs> she's got food in there but man she's being a little insistent she likes her wet food so there we go Excellent, excellent. It's all coming into into focus, yes. Uh, now hopefully uh, we, we found out yesterday that we can make the landmines now so that's something we'll be able to do i don't know how far look that one has the second one missing i don't know how far um i want to i don't know that i really want to put the landmines on the dirt i guess we can try it out in one corner and see if it uh destroys the dirt blocks uh, that would definitely be worth trying out i guess so we may make a few, let's make a few, uh, a few landmines and try them out on one corner and see if they work. Uh, see if they destroy the, the ground blocks too badly. Cause I don't want big craters. Oh, there's another one missing. I don't want big craters, uh, so we might have to upgrade those with cement before we put the landmines out, depending on how it goes. So probably after this, we will upgrade our outer, um, oh man, I'm sorry, We'll upgrade the outer pillars first because those seem to be the ones that take the brunt of the assault. They, they really seem to want to break those. Okay, this is the last corner. This is so awesome. <laughs> I love it that, that the zombies are falling for my traps. Uh, it's working out really well. I accidentally placed one there. I did, uh, I was missing one. I need to go and fix that. Last one here. That did take too long. 
I'm thinking I might go over into that dirt patch in the desert and um, I thought I picked up all the stones around here uh, and make like a little oh I forgot I got another where was that missing was it over here I think it was over here and we need to like fix this one up just a little bit there you go bud all right so we're done with our fence we're done with the fence um and the iron i think we'll put you guys back uh we want to upgrade at least these bottom two all the way around our base at the very least i'd like the three because they seem to once they broke the two they they went for that third block as well so yeah hopefully we'll have enough of this the cement to get these guys all upgraded uh, if not i'm sure there's more ready in our little cement mixer down there now Oh, we're already out. Okay, let's go grab what we can. <laughs> upgrade what we can. I think that ladder was damaged. Yeah, let's fix that. I might go ahead and just take, leave these open. Oh, man. Sometimes it's hard to get down the ladder. Let's see what our... Hopefully that's going to be enough. We got our other 300 ready in there. Oh, I was so happy that I got so much rock from digging that one section out. I did not, however, find uh, iron like I was hoping. I did find potassium. I think this might be some coal. And I think this white section right here is not potassium, the nitrate, the nitrate. So I'm hoping I do find some iron down here. This looks like it might be coal too, or that might be the nitrate. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find out tonight when I go back down there digging. I did have I did have to repair my pick and my shovel through the night too. So, and I think before I upgrade this inner part to cement i might just do uh, the corners as cement and then switch up those uh those blocks because i don't like them i can't see out as well as i would have liked i can i can see out some of them but oh, look this is this is enough yeah okay so now let's try to get the third block upgraded Um, I also might bring some iron out to upgrade those ladders so they don't get broke all the time. I probably won't keep them from getting broken, but it, uh, you know, they have to do a little bit more damage to them to actually break them. And I don't know that I need to upgrade these any further if they're, if the zombies aren't going to attack it. Oh, we're out of cement again. Uh, we don't need that many. One, two, three, four, five. So if we have 50 cement down there, that'll be enough for now. And then we can just let the rest, uh, let the rest build up. We may even get a second batch of cement going because we got plenty of rocks but we'll have that melting at least while this is working oh yeah just enough that's just enough to upgrade what we want oh i only have 1600 um so
I only want it to run for that long because then it's built up like uh, probably like two thirds of all the, the stone is melted. Then I can chew it up to make the cement uh, and put a couple more stacks of wood in there and then it will melt the rest as it's making the rest of that. So that's the plan. Uh, yeah, I want to go up, not down. Come on, don't make me jump. <laughs> um, I thought I repaired all of this. Oh, I must have missed uh, these blocks. They got damaged. That must have been from a cop explosion. So I thought I had repaired everything. But I didn't check these blocks. Okay. That's good. That's good. I can always repair the stuff on the inside at night. Uh, yeah, we just need to go out. Not gonna. We weren't born in a barn, so we're gonna shut it. <laughs> there we go. Get these flat. Oh, look, it's already started to dry. Yes. Excellent. All right, that was the main part that I wanted. Now the next section that we're gonna upgrade is gonna be our original pillars, uh, like the corners and these middle sections. Uh, that will increase our stability even more. We might not go all the way up. We'll probably just uh, do at least the first three just to um, solidify the, the bottom part. And then we'll probably, I probably will in the middle of the night, maybe start busting these out, replacing them with poles. I don't know, can we make cement poles? Wet concrete poles, those you make in the cement mixer. This looks like the forge brick poles. I wonder what those, um, those take stone and clay, but I don't know that, that that's going to have enough, enough stuff for us. And I wanted to, yeah, I think I want to do the poles that we, uh, we might need to make them out of flagstone just to get them in there and then upgrade them as we can. Because hopefully they don't make it this far uh, with our traps laid out. And since we're done with this part, um, I do want to fill more, more spikes up around here um, but we need to gather more wood for that and that's uh, yeah we're gonna go make see what we can do about making some landmines to put in one corner to test those out and see if they destroy uh, the dirt blocks All right, let's look. I think they're made in here or the chemistry station. Uh, hubcap landmine, a tin landmine. It looks like these can be made in our inventory. It looks like we can't make an air filter landmine because uh, we don't have that recipe yet. But we can make a hubcap landmine. Wow. Um, it takes a duct tape. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know that we have enough duct tape to do this. Oh, we have three. We do have a bunch of bones. I wonder if we can uh, do that in the campfire. What's the difference? Is, uh, let's look at the recipes. 
We can make glue here. Murky water, but it takes two. If we do it in the chemistry station, it only takes one, which is very good. Very, very good. Uh, but it takes a murky water. Let's get some murky. Oh, we only have 17 made up. Where is it? The glue. Is this the one we want? Yes, it's only taken one. So how long is that going to take? To make 16 a minute and 10 seconds. So we need two wood in there. Get that mixing up. Um, we're actually going to have to go uh, place down our water, I think, and fill up our water bottles. I was wanting to finish that off tonight anyway, but since we need it now, uh, excuse my phone, that's my alar alert. I believe it went off. Okay. So I think as I was thinking about putting it like right, maybe I'll put it right here. And we'll just um, dig a little bit here. Uh, this was very good. Um, this gravel takes two hits, but the gravel in the desert only takes one. So once I got past that first level of the level or two of um, the sand in the desert, it was all gravel, which was good because uh, it was like one hit. So I was able to get quite a bit of sand and that was really nice. I think that's, that's a rock. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my cat. Nikki, will you stop it, Nikki? She's scratching at the door. Alright. And I think the water actually goes through uh, frames. So we want to make sure we fill that up. Alright, let's get a bucket of water. And we should be able to put this down right here. Fill up our water bottles and then pick it back up and we're good to go. We got another bucket. So that's awesome. I learned that from watching Games for Kicks play. <laughs> that's how he gets all his water. So thank you Games for Kicks for teaching me that secret recipe for infinite water. We got to get all the way up here. Now we got tons of water. The only bad thing is it is going to use up our bottles. Um, I know you can hear Nikki meowing in the background. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, so let's make like, uh, I don't know, 25 more of those. It's going to take a minute and a half. Was that a minute and 50? I don't remember. A minute 50, okay. There we go, that should be plenty. That way we'll, we'll leave, uh, we'll have plenty of murky water there. Oh, I'm so sorry if you hear my cat spazzing out. She is uh, really wanting the wet food this morning. <laughs> Poor turd head. Okay, so let's put, we got a little bit of sand from that little bit of digging down there. A little bit of iron. Get a little bit of iron every time you break uh, a rock. Which is cool. It's just a little bit. And I got a little bit. That's what I got overnight. I think let's throw that stuff in there. Um, so I think we're done with the metal. I don't know. What else do we need for the landmines? Oh, uh, land. Hubcap. We got the 10 landmines. Oh, that does have to be made in the workbench. 
Uh, so we might want to start saving those candy tin cans. That also takes uh, duct tape. Um, but I don't think, can, can't we make the, the tins, the candy, candy tin cans? Yes, it takes five iron, but I don't think we can make a hubcap. Oh, you can. It takes ten. So let's try, let's try out the, we're going to need our metal back that I just placed back in there. Let's try a couple of the candy tin cans and maybe a couple of the um, the other ones. We'll put uh, we'll use multiple corners. So I think we actually have the hub. We haven't gotten any hubcaps. Okay, so we'll have to make a few of each of them. Let's um, let's see candy. Let's make like five of each and we'll put five in one corner and five in the other corner and see what kind of damage they do to the ground. Awesome. Okay, so what are we missing? We're missing gunpowder, duct tape, and springs. So we need uh, five springs, five duct tape, and a bunch of gunpowder. Uh, we don't have... Uh, there's some cloth. Duct tape. Five of those. Okay, we're going to need five more for... Uh, these two so let's go over here that's all finished all right uh, let's make our five more duct tape for our other ones and then we can throw this stuff back in there Okay, we need gunpowder. I think I put my gunpowder down. We're probably gonna move it to a chest. We're probably gonna move this. Yeah, we don't have hardly any gunpowder. I would like to move all of this up to near the chemistry station since all of our ammo is gonna be, can, you know, coming from gunpowder and gunpowder is made in the chemistry station and all of this should just stack up uh, we might want to move our guns up there too can we fit all of that in yeah we're a little bit encumbered but we can get to it I also want to check the crops up there I think they might be ready to be harvested all right, um, is this empty? Uh, I think we're gonna do, that's gonna be our medical supplies. So this will be our ammo. Let's do uh, the nine millimeter first, because it's like the basic for pistols and SMGs. We'll do the 7.62 rounds. I like it that they added the steel ammo. Uh, this, the, the shotgun shells also have upgraded stuff for slugs, but we haven't seen any of those. Uh, these are the crappy stone arrows. Here's the steel arrows. And then our iron arrows. We actually... Yeah, that filled up our iron arrows there. There's steel crossbow bolts. I don't think we actually... Oh, we had uh, feathers. Feathers. And gunpowder. So we're going to have to make some of that, which takes, we have to go back downstairs and grab some coal. 
charcoal or whatever it is uh, that we get from mining. Is that in here? Yes. Lumps of coal and nitrate powder, gunpowder, and it's uh, since we have the kit, I think you can make it in the campfire. Oh, apparently not. That looks like maybe just the workbench, or is that just in your inventory? Oh, it's just in the inventory, but it takes two, so if by having the chemistry station, we get twice as much gunpowder, so that's awesome. Come on, don't make me jump. See, uh, this is the problem that I'm having. There we go. You gotta get on there just right in order to not jump. Ugh. It's a little bit of a pain. I wind up, especially on the outside, that I I generally <laughs> I generally just jump. That's why I leave the bottom one on there. Okay, this takes one. Uh, it only takes one second, so we might not need that much. It takes, it's gonna take seven minutes to make 375. We're limited by our coal. So what we might do, we need some more wood. So what we might do here while that's making and being uh, an obnoxious noise maker, we'll take our axe. Oh, we need to put these guns away. Let's do that first so we're not encumbered. We're going to put them down here. Uh, shotgun, pistol, SMG, uh, AK, pistol, pistol, shotgun, oh, a hunting rifle, forgot about those, SMG, we got tons of hunting rifles, we might, um, Start trying to sell at least the level ones to the merchants to get some cash. Uh, although I don't know what I would want to buy. Maybe he uh, maybe he has some like gunpowder or something. I don't know. But I figure we can come over here and chop up these uh, log piles. I thought we would get coal. I thought we would get more coal from that. Maybe it's these bigger ones that we need to go after, these big ones. Although it looks pretty cool from my place, uh, having all these burning coals over here. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting as much as I thought I was going to. Do you get more if we don't do the power attack? It looks like I'm only getting one per pile. That looked like it gave me two by not doing a power attack. Hmm. So let's let it clear. Two. Okay, let's find another one and do a power attack. It, it only takes one hit to do a power attack. But I only get one. Okay. Look, we got a, a lady that's interested in zombie. Oh my god! Dude! Uh, it's a horde! It's a wandering horde! Oh, that was awesome. Oh my god, why am I missing so much? It's a big hammer! How can I miss their head? Touching! Don't touch me! Oh, I should not sprint. Oh, he's on fire! That zombie's on fire! 
I missed the guy in front, but hit the guy behind him. That makes no sense. See, I think this would be um, a good time for to like just have coffee on you. Ooh, I leveled up. I only got five, five experience points from that zombie. That really not needs to not be a thing. See, he needs to be worth more than 700, maybe like 900, because it takes like twice as many hits as the other zombies. And I mean, 900 is just twice as much experience. Oh, I missed. Oh, you thought you was gonna hit me, but you didn't, sucker. Oh, there's a burning guy over there. All right, so we found out we get twice as much coal if we take three hits instead of two. Um, what we might do is just break these rocks. Uh, I didn't know these were over here. So we'll get, uh, I wonder if we get more from doing normal attacks. That doesn't make sense. Why would you want to do that? Why would you ever want to power attack anything if you get less resources? So, um, let's look and see how much we have after this rock. I think we got a couple of rocks out here. Yeah. We'll, we'll do these as tests. So we have 25 lumps of coal right now. That's what we want to look at. We're going to do this one with power attacks, and the other one we're going to do normal with the normal flows and see it really isn't a very accurate because we're only doing one each time one rock there is multiple levels of the rock uh, and I think we'll probably use less stamina by not doing the power attacks so we'll see which is better whichever gives us more coal Okay, so that one, oh, we only got 14 coal. Well, 13, because we did have one. So that was with power attacks. And we're going to come over to this one. We're going to do normal attacks. Uh, and we shouldn't use as much stamina like this, but it will take us a lot longer to break the rock. But we shouldn't uh, get the penalty for, like, I don't know if there's a a penalty for having low stamina that you get from gathering. Uh, we got a zombie over here, so let's take care of him real quick. We definitely do not have a stamina issue uh, with just normal attacks. Let's make sure we have a little look around. The area looks clear of zombies now. Yeah, it's going down a little bit now. But it looks like it's keeping up. And like I said, one one rock isn't really a good test because of the randomness, I think. But if it's significantly more, you know, if it's like 10 or 20 more, then it's definitely worth it, I think. Uh, but if it's only like a couple, minus or below. Oh, look, we got way less. We only got four. Four lumps of coal versus 13. That's like three times as more. Okay, and three times as much. So it's definitely worth the power attack then. I was afraid um, that we wouldn't get as much, but it looks like we get more. Look at 
there's some cars over there. So it's definitely worth doing the power attack. It may take, um, you may have to sit and rest, but it's definitely worth it for three times as much. Now, I didn't check any of the other stuff, uh, like the iron and whatnot. I, was, I, I only want the coal right now because we can't make as much gunpowder. But I think um, it's definitely worth using the power attack. Definitely. If the other things are indicative of like... Uh, the same as what the coal is. Uh, did, did I not ever whack the score block or did it spawn? I don't know. Maybe I didn't whack it because I didn't have room at the time. That might be a thing too. But it was clear on these that is you get twice as much uh, from doing the normal attacks. Well, except for on that one. I didn't get any. So the the logs is definitely worth doing the single hits, but the rocks uh, that was uh, a significant increase in my opinion for the rocks doing the power attacks. But again, it takes like three times as long on those little uh, wood things. So we got, oh, he came back just in time. So we got only 51 more out of that. So how long will it take to make that? One minute and one second. Let's go ahead and make that. We'll take this out. That'll give us definitely enough to make our landmines. Uh, Okay, so the tin landmine only needed the gunpowder and iron, but the hubcap landmine takes springs as well. So that's going to be another limiting factor. It's, it's going to be dependent on how many springs we can loot. So it might be that these tin cans are more economical. Economical. Um, let's just do recipes. Let's make all five of those. And then recipes. We'll make all five of those. And then we'll go and place them around. We'll pick two corners. Um, I don't know. Those corners might not get even get used. We'll put the rest of our gunpowder away. That was good. We got, look at all that iron we got. We got a little bit more stone too, so that was good. Um, no, the rotten meat goes down there. Oh, but I do put feathers up there. So everything's coming along. Um, not sure. Oh, that's Bitty Bit. She's so cute. I don't know if you heard her cute little squeak. Oh, you don't go down here. The bone does. And then we put the rest of the stuff goes down. I might... Oh no, this was the ammo box. I might put the nitrate and stuff up here. We don't have any coal, obviously. Uh, but I might put it up here since it's going to be used to make gunpowder. And that, that would be more beneficial to have it up there instead of all the way down here where I can't get to it. And we might want to get this stuff cook, cooking up. That's 300 iron there, mister. And we got a little bit more clay. I was almost out of clay. That's probably way more than 10 minutes worth of stuff. Let's check and see how much uh, cement we have. And we might need to actually make 
some more cement mixer since you have to make the wet concrete in there. Oh, our little guy over here is still burning. Seven seconds left. Okay, so. <laughs> ah. Definitely going to need to get some more wood real quick because we are. Let's just. Um, I think it's 700. That takes 11 minutes. There's enough in there to do that. And then that's going to be like another two, no, 300. So that'll be good. Uh, we don't, don't currently have enough stone or sand to make that. Plus we need to eat. Look at that. Um, uh, we're kind of hungry. It looks like it, you would think that if you go right up the middle, it would work, but it looks like if you uh, come on the corner, oh, if you get on the corner, no, or if you just push the left or right, let's try it again. Uh, I'm going straight up ahead. Oh, it works right that time. I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't work. It's weird. Um, Okay, so we want to put, this is now going to be our designated uh, coal and nitrate drop off. Also, we'll want a place to store some, I think we might put the cement downstairs as well as um, these blocks. Because this is only made with stone and clay. But I might put stone down there too. I don't know. It looks like right now I'm going to be using all of the stone I can. It's really good. I like it that they made the stone stack in more than a thousand. That was a good uh, thing. Because it... Uh, with your inventory being so much more limited, having it stacked to a thousand would have been devastating. And the wood looks like it stacks to over a thousand as well as the plant fibers. Yeah, it would be cool if they added like a weight to these and did it not by slots, but by weight because it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't make sense that I can carry 10,000 small stones <laughs> that probably weigh a lot more than like a stack of feathers. And it doesn't make sense that feathers only stack to 250, but the stones can stack to whatever, I don't know, It it I think it might be 5,000 or something because I had over 2,000. So 2,000 isn't the cap either, and this has 2,100. That, that I think, stacked to 5,000. Or was it six? No, it was 6,000. So they might stack all to 6,000. Um, we definitely are in dire need of food, and we have, like, no food over here. So we're going to have to uh, actually, let's go check our crops. I know this isn't exciting, but if we have, actually, I think we might have corn and potatoes down here. Do we, have, we have 20 potatoes and we have a bunch of corn. Um, we might just go ahead and make some sham chowder. Did we put the points in to get that? Let's have a look. Do we have... The map. Yes, we did. Awesome. Okay. I didn't remember if I had done that or not. So let's look for recipes. The sham chowder. Oh, it takes bottled water too. So 
We only have five sandwiches, so let's get five water. Uh, we'll also be able to make meat stew with the carrots and potatoes as well, but I believe the sham chowder is way better. But it's reliant on your drops and it takes 30 seconds for each one. Uh, and it usually ticks over sometimes. Okay, so let's make all five of those and looks like we might be able to make, um, yeah, there's my meat. Five more. I think it only takes two for the meat stew. Oh, we got, again, we gotta have the water. All right, yeah, meat stew takes two potatoes, two corn, a water, 10 meat. What? 10 meat? The sham chowder is way better and it takes crappy meat. Look at that, you get 80 health from that and 10 water at 50 max stamina. So that is a really nice food. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our meat stew though because we don't have very many eggs. Uh, we have more eggs or less eggs than we have meat right now. So well, that's another two and a half minutes. So uh, yeah, we had an extra one in there. Oh, really low. Need to go get that wood. Um, Oh, eggs. We have 20, 20 some odd eggs, so we can make some bacon and eggs. How many can we make? 11. That makes sense. Okay. And that's going to take a minute and 15, so we might need to put another two in there. And we're out. We're out of potatoes. Oh, uh, we do have some corn. We still got tons of meat, so yeah, it would do good to have more potatoes, but I want to as well fill up the farm. We do have more corn here. We can make five more, which would be another row. That would be good. So I think it's done uh, up there. I went and checked in the wee hours of the morning and it didn't it wasn't it was still growing so yeah look these are all mature let's go ahead and uh, harvest those I like the corn because it's tall you don't uh, have to look down at it uh, to in order to miss hitting the other plants so now we can um, plant these five since we don't really have potatoes to go with it and we just made a bunch of food uh, we can make two more awesome the corn's probably going to get filled up first uh, I think we need five more aloe and then we can start making our first aid bandages because we got that skill now, which is awesome. Um, I definitely want to get that coffee going because I think if we carry that around while we're um, harvesting logs and uh, whatnot, so can we can only make three. That's okay. That's three more that I want to plant right here. Doink. We only have the one blueberry plant. Isn't that pathetic? Uh, but the cotton, the cotton, one row of them is probably going to be not ready because I, oh no, it is ready. I thought I harvested it before it was ready. Oh, those two are growing. Dang it. Yeah, those were the two that I hit before, and it, and it wasn't ready. I hit two before I realized that they were still growing. See, you can sometimes, even though you're looking at that, see, I'm looking at that cotton plant, 
but just one hair down and I'm on the seed, one hair up and I'm on the, uh, the plant. So I can accidentally break those. So you have to pretty much be right on top of these guys in order to hit them. Maybe they need to make the seed hit boxes a little bit smaller. Maybe, maybe not uh, width wise, but height. So that like uh, you can look over the top of them and hit the seed behind, uh, you know, on the other side of it a lot easier. See, cause it's, I'm, I should be looking at the base of that they should just need to maybe trim off some some of the pit box off the top of that. Just to make it a little bit easier to harvest so you don't have to look straight down. Uh, not that it matters up here because there shouldn't be any zombies. Uh, let's get our coffee. Ah, see? See, I'm, and the coffee is a lot bigger figure I would have hit the coffee plant, not the seed. That's four. That's enough to get one more seed. <laughs> I wish I had found more coffee. Because that's going to take a while to get that growing. And here's our Patatskis. We'll at least be able to make two more uh, potato seeds. Oh, do we have a point to spend? Yes, we do. What I want to do is go into fortitude and do living off the land. This is going to double our speed to get crops. I wish I'd have done that before I'd harvested the potatoes. Because then we could have gotten four, four more seeds. Oh, let me pause. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, that was an important phone call, so I had to take it. Um, so now we should be getting two yucca plants. And the yucca is, uh, you can do the same thing like you do with the corn. Oh, see, I didn't even hit that one. I wonder if, if I do a power attack, do I get more? I didn't see that. That was still on there. Oh, look at the experience. Yeah, it still only gets me two, so looks like you get, is it five or ten each? Ten! Nice! Uh, oh, let's go ahead and plant our potato seeds. Get the potatskers. See, we could have had four. That will help fill these areas out quicker, especially the blueberries. Oh my gosh. Uh, five more of those. Yes, please. The yucca. Yeah, because we need um, to be able to go in and drink yucca juice because the yucca juice seems to fill up the hydration a whole lot. Oh, and this is going to really help with the mushrooms. Uh -huh. Two each time. Excellent. We can't really make those into seeds right now because uh, it takes dirt. So we'll we'll have to go down and grab a few dirt. Chrysanthemums. It's so hard to say chrysanthemum. Without, you know, I wonder if that's still going to grow because I accidentally hit the dirt. <laughs> I hope it's it does grow. Man, you can barely see those. Okay. Go, go. It's a little bit wonky to place them too, but that's always been like that. Uh, you got to got to be really exact when you play. So come on, I want it here. I had it there and then I uh, was talking and demonstrating and then I didn't have it. The golden rod. Um, so we could, I don't think it counts 
for a wild um, wild plants that you get to. So let's let's go like test that out because I don't know. Does do you get the uh, the multiple items even when you harvest um, naturally spawning vegetation? Um, there should be stuff nearby. Uh, let's first, though, we'll put the yucca there. Get a croissant, and those, and those, and those, and that. Yeah, we still don't even have four blueberries. Uh, as soon as we do, now that we can harvest twice as much, that'll be nice. Um, these guys go over here cotton and aloe vera. We could actually make a, two more aloe vera leaves, but I don't I don't think we needed it. Didn't we fill up the aloe vera? I think we made no, no we didn't. We were short. Two. And so that would finish off the aloe vera if we were to make this aloe vera into two more seeds. So let's do that. That way all the aloe vera from now on we can use to making bandages. Um, the, the food items, see, I can possibly, uh, you know, once I see what, what food items I'm using the most, if I actually even need the cotton, we might pull that up and uh, put more aloe down if we seem to be okay for the cotton and need more aloe because we get a lot of cotton uh, a lot of cloth from looting we get a lot of cloth uh, so yeah i really wanted to find a blueberry field but we didn't so we can um we can put away Let's put away two of the mushrooms and go get, I think, six dirt. That should make, it takes four mushrooms. Um, oh, dude, <laughs> I was going down there for the dirt and the dirt is up. I'm such a ninny. I keep forgetting what is where. Uh, so that should... That should help that I don't have to climb all the way down. And that's three more mushrooms. I really want to get the, the farms filled up as quickly as possible. That gives us two rows. Excellent. That'll be 10, 20 mushrooms tomorrow. That'll be enough to make another five seeds. So that is awesome. Uh, so as we, as long as we have one row, uh, if we have two rows, that'll give us enough to make another whole row. That is awesome. Okay, so we need to eat, and we made a bunch of food over here. We're down almost 30. But let's look at this. This is 36 and 18 for the bacon and eggs. That takes five meat. You would think that, that since this takes 10 meat, it would be twice as good, but it's not. It's maybe 50% as good. It gives you uh, 11 more stamina. That's not even 50% because 50% would be 18 uh, more stamina. Um, and 9.27 more max health. It does give you water as well, but that's not, or in my opinion, even 50% better than bacon and eggs. So in my opinion, it's better to have two bacon and eggs than one meat stew. But the sham chowder, I mean, it's still not that much better but it doesn't take 10 meat and you get 80 freaking <laughs> health back 
So that's like a freaking med kit right there. <laughs> that's awesome uh, for just having to have that one piece of meat. But yeah, I don't think the meat stew is good though if you don't have the eggs to go with it. And we're short on the eggs, so we'll probably use our meat to make the meat stew, even though it's the bacon and eggs is better. If we have the eggs, we'll definitely make the bacon and eggs because that, in my opinion, is better than the meat stew. Two of the bacon and eggs is better than one meat stew. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and eat one of these guys and we'll put this in our chest. Yes. Awesome. Okay. And we need to make something to drink. I've been saving that one goldenrod tea. I don't want to drink it because uh, that cures food poisoning. And you don't want food poisoning. Don't want that. Okay, we're at 69. So we're going to go ahead and drink the red tea though. That'll be a good drink for us. Um, we need, let's go ahead and make up like water stacks to 15 once it's cooked. So let's make the 45 water. Ooh, how long is that going to take? Three minutes. Okay, okay, we got enough wood. We need to go get some wood desperately. Awesome. We were going to go do something and I completely forgot what it was. Oh, we need to get our landmines out and go put those in the corners. Um, I think it looks like... This is a very popular corner, and maybe we'll do that one over there. They seem to be coming from that side, I think, mainly. But uh, I know that our, on our base, this area down here has taken the least amount of damage. We still have spikes uh, that, I mean, I placed those. But I think it's going to be these areas down here. Hopefully I can place these safely. We'll put these 10 landmines over here. Um, and I don't know. Let's say if we have a 5x5 five five grid. We put one here. That's really, yeah. Is it here? And then here, here, and there. Oh, <gasps> stand back. I don't think, no, that one's not in the middle. It's a little cattywonk. That's okay. So let's put these other hubcat landmines. I think these are going to be more powerful because they take more gunpowder. I don't think that's in the middle either. I think they're going to be more powerful because they took 13 gunpowder and those only took like 8. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's clear this out. So, just because. Wow, it's 16 o'clock already. Uh, so, in order to make those really... Actually, what I should have done, now that I think about it, um, what I should have done was place them here so that if they do break through here, they're going to go BAM onto a landmine. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't think about that. Uh, then we would have only needed four and we could have put them in a more likely place that they'll step on them. So it's probably, they're probably not going to get to those unless they come straight down the middle 
I don't know. Because I think these are going to be the first to get broken and then they'll come through like this. So I think if we place things on the edges, uh, of course I could be wrong. We should just line the whole area on the other side of these <laughs> with landmines. That's That would be ideal. That way if they do break through, they're definitely going to step on a landmine. But I want to know whether or not I need to replace the ground blocks first before I put landmines down. So we need some test subjects to come break through our defenses and see, see how those landmines work. I've never used the landmines before, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if they destroy the blocks. Uh, I don't think they do, honestly, because um, the areas around the military camps don't get damaged when those landmines go off. So it could be that we're good. We don't need to um, upgrade those for the purpose of landmines. Now I will definitely think I want to upgrade all of this interior part uh, to concrete just because of cops. So that they won't be, you know, I, although we did have several cops explode. I don't think they did damage to uh, those blocks. But the mobs can dig down. So if they do decide to dig down for whatever reason, maybe they think um, if they dig under uh, my concrete, it would be faster than digging through the concrete, which should be completely true. Uh, it would be easier to dig down um, into the dirt and get through my defenses. So on the off chance that they do that, it would definitely be better to upgrade the ground at least around here. Uh, the inner part first to cement so that if the zombies do accidentally uh, dig down here they're gonna have a much harder time with concrete than uh, yeah we need to watch out for those landmines now uh, they're gonna have a lot harder time getting into our base if these blocks are all concrete at least to there because I don't think uh, if I happen to be down underneath they might decide to dig down and that would give me a lot more time to react, to get up here and deal with them before they actually break through. Hello, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki's, it's love time. It's love time. <clears throat> she needs love. Um, don't sit on my mouse, baby. <sighs> she is so beautiful. She's big and orange and white. And beautiful and large. She's a very large cat. She's not fat. She's just really, really big. Yeah, okay. She's moved on. She's done now. I gave her love and, and she is satisfied. <laughs> okay. So we got a bunch of concrete on us. Um that's enough to do 50 blocks, but what I want is to maybe upgrade at least the three corners. The three on each corner will need to come inside here. Yeah, see, some of these blocks have taken damage. I don't know if that's for me hitting. Hey, you're on my mouse cord. Thank you. I don't know if that's for me damaging it by accidentally hitting it or if the top actually exploded on it and it did like a little bit. Like maybe they reduced the amount of damage a cop can do to naturally occurring blocks. I don't know, but I want them upgraded. So we got the corners, so now let's do the middle pillars. Hey! Oh! 
that was Nikki. She <laughs> nudged my arm. <laughs> Not just my hand, my whole arm. I thought she, I thought I gave her love and she was done, but she circled back around and come back for more. Hey! <laughs> All right, Nikki. I'm sorry. She is very insistent. Come here. Come here, baby. Okay. She doesn't want to be in my lap, though. Okay. So, she moved on now. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, when, when she nudges you, you know it. Because your whole arm is going to move. She's a very large cat. Very large. There we go. Awesome. How much more do we have? 280. Nice. Um, maybe we'll go up a block. All around, do uh, four blocks tall inside. There we go. Um, I might go ahead and make up some more. Oh wait, uh, I don't need to make up the block blocks, but I do need to make rock rocks. Rock rocks. Cobblestone rocks. Okay, so that's four all the way around on the inside. And I'll probably do make up some cobblestone and place uh, the blocks in here as the poles. I like the poles because I get a lot more visibility. And if I do happen to come up and I see some zombies that have broken through and they're beating on my gates right here, I can quickly deal with them. Uh, and I won't have very much sight issues as I do with these. It's really hard to get through those holes. And that's why I don't use arrow slits because the arrow slits really narrow your point of view uh, where you can shoot from. You have to have the zombies right where you want them. And a lot of the times, this, oh, let's go up and hope she does not see us. She's already... She's already through. Oh, she's already dead. Look at that. Okay. Oh, there's another one. And that's a feral. That's a feral dude. Oh, I missed. I need to get her dead. Dang it. Yeah, she's down now, okay. And that barrel guy is down there. Chumpa Wumpa. Hey, that's my concrete box. Oh crap, they hit a landmine. That uh, big Bertha hit a landmine. I want him dead, he's a feral. I wish I had my guns. There we go. 1,500. Oh, she made it through? She made it through a landmine? And that was just a normal one. Wow, they made it through my defenses. She's dead. Uh, they destroyed that landmine. It doesn't look like, um, look at that. They damaged my concrete already. Poor concrete. Halfway. Look at what the damage he did to that. And destroyed my ladder. At least you can see. I like the concrete because you can see better that they're damaged. Let's go see, did this, uh, does not look like the ground was damaged at all. Uh, oh, I'm out of wood. We need to go get some wood. Um, let's go over by the trader over here and chop down these trees. I want those cleared. And hit a random bird's nest just because. 
I don't think it's respawning because it's too close to the base. Hey, look! Gar oh, I can't... I can't get that one. Okay. What about this one? Okay. You can get this one, but not the other one. That tree is there forever. Forever. Wow, it's 18 o'clock. It feels like this, uh... This four day has gone by so quickly. We haven't really accomplished a whole lot. Um, yeah, those guys got through quick. Where did they go? I mean, did they... Was it... There was only the one feral, and he got through right here. He didn't destroy this, so... He must have just been able to quickly... Uh, get over it. Doesn't look like they're even bothering with this fence, which is exactly what I hoped for. Uh, this stuff over here is damaged a little bit. I think that's actually. Yeah, that was the uh, barbed wire, not the ground. So it looks like that, those two had taken. One point of damage that might be from the explosion or just from the zombies hitting down. Uh, this one got no damage. That's weird that the ones in front of it didn't get damaged, but that one did. Okay, so we got two spikes missing here. None, that one looks like it took a little bit of damage. Uh, oh, nice. That one tree gave us uh, quite a bit of wood. So let's go ahead and replace our spikes. Excellent. So they got through a lot quicker than I imagined. I thought I would have a little bit more. Of a, oh, here they broke through here too. So let's go ahead and make one more trap. And they damaged that one. What about over here? Looks like just this one, it, the one right next to it. So they are going to the closest path to get them inside. They're going through the corner and like that. So we might even put this corner or uh, they're probably going to this outside one since that corner is going to be closed off. It looks like they might be all going to this corner and on the inside. So putting the landmines there might actually be a lot better. So yeah, let's go across and get, uh, get a little bit of wood. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only, the daytime is the only way I have to get wood. Um, I thought about, uh, maybe if I find that, um, a need emergency wood, we might, uh, and we have a plentiful amount of crops that maybe we could dig up, uh, the, the, the crops up there and plant a few trees if necessary uh, to give me some way to get the trees at night if you know because we shouldn't use um, all four different crops for drinks so we should uh, eventually start accumulating a nice amount of other things and then we won't need every single one of them uh, so we could eventually uproot, you know, like the goldenrod. We could fill that up, get a good amount, because I'll probably only use that uh, for food poisoning. 
and then that's not going to be used that often. Uh, so I won't need to uh, plant that forever. So even if it's just like one tree that I can go up there and harvest, you know, if I run out in the middle of the night, I can at least harvest one tree to get emergency wood. Oh, I know what we were going to go do. We were going to come out here and harvest some plants. I just saw some when I was looking around. Do we just get the one from harvesting this or do we get two? Let's find out. It looks like one. 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 Okay. So now we know. Now we know. We get the one. We get the one. I don't really need any more cotton ever. Because I have a full uh, thing of cotton. I have extra cotton. So we're good for cotton. Um... For the foreseeable future. I have a ton of cloth that I loot from the houses. I hear it. I hear a zombie. I thought I heard one go. Ah. Oh, there she is. Way over there. I can barely hear her. Hello. I ran all this way to meet you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it looks like happy brain is gone, so maybe you're not doing as well. The other, oh, oh, she has a twin. No, she's got hair. There we go. Okay, all better. Look at our base. Our base is looking fantastic. Look at how huge that is. I really honestly thought that's only like a 9x9 nine nine interior. Oh, so it's 11x11 11 11 on the central part. Uh, I really thought that that would be a lot smaller. You know what I mean? Because uh, I thought the, the POIs are so much bigger and they're odd shaped. Um, Maybe, uh, uh, like this one is okay because it's, it's basically square and you've got two stories and, you know, a, a good top up there to work with. Um, so that one might not be as bad, but, you know, something that big, that would be too big, way too big. Um, yeah, this is the steel fire axe too, so it, it can chop through one tree on a bar of stamina, which is really nice. Um, uh, and I get, look at that, 203 wood. Let's let that clear and see how much I get from this. 11, 22, it looks like 11 per swing. Now, oh, and we get a bonus. We were only at like 99, and as soon as it fell, we got like, we were up to over 200. So we got 100 from killing it off. I'm curious as to what the difference is between the steel axe and uh, the regular axe. So we just saw we got like 200 from that. So let's go in here and grab our spare axe. Let's close that door. Uh, let's grab the spare axe and see what the, what the difference is between iron and steel. And I think our spare tools are down here. Uh, it's only a level one fire axe. I need to make another one so it's like level three and just eat that one. Although uh, there's no real bonus uh, loot wise to having a tier three versus a tier one. And let's get all the way, our stamina all the way as up as possible. There we go. 
It's a 1200. It looks like we get 9 a swing instead of the 11. But we're doing less damage to the block as well. So we should have to swing more. We're up to 71, which is about the same. 98. Two. So it really isn't any more wood. Uh, the steel axe isn't any more because we got like 203. 203 from the steel axe. You just use less stamina because it does more damage. So it's only. Um, oh, leveled up? Leveled up on a tree. Nice. So basically, if you want, I think I'm going to go ahead and spend the point here because we only got one. I want to do the minor 69er because that will help us with stamina usage by mining materials uh, which I've been doing a lot of it is 20 o'clock uh, so I normally leave off here anyway and I'm basically going to be doing what I'm doing right here uh, for the next uh, two game hours so yeah we'll see you guys next time uh, thanks for watching if you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, leave a like to help other people find the video. Um, it really does help out. And we'll see you next time. We're getting ready. We're two days away from the horde. Hopefully our base is going to be up to snuff. <laughs> Stick around and watch out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.